thank you. Uh, my name is Akko Jane. I'm actually a, still a student, so I'm a senior at Portland. So the Epitome of Business School and the Lack of Entrepreneurship. I'm also the founder of the Cairo Society, which, to give you a quick background, is the world's leading <laughs> organization. Can you hear me now? Is the world's leading organization for top students around the world that can say, how can we create the next billion dollar companies that are going to change the world? Now, I've asked to come here, I guess, to speak about some of the interesting lessons we've learned, so I'm going to be real quick and brief, but there are two or three things that I think we all need to consider here because we all have been in the entrepreneurship space for the longest time. We all know the basics of, you know, what makes things work and what entrepreneurs do and what makes us make money. But what we're missing, I think, is the shift for our generation. And then, there's, there's two parts to that. One, our generation needs that culture surrounding us. You know, Obama talked about this being a Sputnik moment, I think, the State of the Union, and Doug, correct me if I'm messing up on something here, but he talked about this being a time to invest money in R&D and science and technology. I'd say we try and shift that to the other reason Sputnik moment was so powerful for America. At that time, we created a culture where every college student wanted to go to the edge of the universe. Every college student graduated said, I'm going to go to science, I'm going to be the next, literally, the limits did not exist. That has not happened for our generation yet. And that's something that we're trying to create through the Paris Society. Can we take these brilliant engineers, science leaders, business leaders, and say, look, you will shape the future. But you are going to shape the future through business, through entrepreneurship, through creating innovative new solutions to these big problems. And more importantly, it's possible because not just the mentorship, the culture exists all around you. And one of the other cool things about our, our generation that you'll see in this room and beyond is that there are no borders. There are no borders between campuses, no borders between countries. We're looking at these students in the Cairo Society, all 19, 20, 21, 22 years old, creating multi-million dollar companies that are solving these problems. And the business team is a kid in China and Beijing, a kid in Boston and a kid in LA saying, hey, let's start this company together. That has never before been possible. And so if we were to walk away from this room today, trying to say, what are two or three things we should focus on? It's let's create this culture of entrepreneurship, of entrepreneurship as a means of solving problems, not just starting a company, quote unquote, and trying to figure out how to create a web resource. It's what is a core problem and what is the innovative solution? And now, how can we take that global from day one? Because we don't have to be a little Boston company to become a Northeast company and hopefully one day expand into foreign territory. We can be a global society, changing the world and making a lot of money from day one. And that's what I'm hoping we'll see in this generation from everyone here. So uh, please ask any questions you have. Thank you again, Donna and Mike and everyone here.